Textbook Exercise 5.3. This question gives you the consumer's income and prices and the bundle that they pick in two different scenarios. And then it asks us whether we could find out, using the notion of revealed preferences, which of the two bundles the consumer prefers. So the first scenario is where the consumer has $1,000, the price of good one is 100, and the price of good two is 10. And the consumer in this case picks the bundle 280, two units of good one, 80 units of good two. The second scenario is where the consumer has income of 1,200, the price of good one has increased from 100 to 150, and the price two of good two remains the same. The consumer picks some bundle, Q1 prime, Q2 prime. All we know is that Q1 prime is one. We don't know what Q2 prime is. Yet, can we say something about how the consumer feels about these two bundles, Q1, Q2, and Q1 prime, Q2 prime? So what reveal preference says is that if you pick the bundle X when you could have picked the bundle Y, then you must pick prefer the bundle X to bundle Y. Now, let's look at the bundle that they pick in the first scenario. 280. Well, could they have chosen this bundle in the second scenario? What would this bundle cost? Well, the price of good one is 150. So let's write down the cost of this bundle at the new prices. The price of good one is 150. There's two units of it. The price of good two is 10. There's 80 units of it. Altogether, that's 300 plus 800 which is 110, uh, which is 1100. But that's less than 1200. So this consumer could have purchased the bundle Q1, Q2 in the second scenario. Yet they chose not to. They chose to buy this bundle Q1 prime, Q2 prime, rather than Q1, Q2. That tells us that they think that Q1 prime, Q2 prime is a better bundle than Q1, Q2. So yes, reveal preference does tell us that the consumer prefers Q1 prime, Q2 prime to Q1, Q2.